What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Keep Your Chroma. This is the start of season number two. And in the background, you can see we had a £33 million transfer budget. Obviously, it could be adjusted a little bit. And our objective is just to avoid relegation. Uh, but And to do that, I thought we did need some new signings. Obviously, I think a keeper is key, as well as a new striker. And our first signing that we went in for was Adam Armstrong. We had a bit of a back and forth. We offered £30 million pounds plus Otter, one of our strikers, who was out on loan last season, who will never play. Uh, and a 15% sell-on clause for him to sign. And obviously now we just have to wait for him to agree contract terms. Our next um, signing that we wanted to get was Aaron Ramsdale, a keeper who got relegated with Sheffield United last season. Um, we actually got stalled the first time, but we managed to get him the second time around. £17 million plus a 10% sell-on clause. Pretty much all our money now gone. Um, so that was great. I also did want to try and get a centre-back in, but we just don't have any money. Unless we sell a couple of players later on, we won't be able to get that centre-back in. I also had a youth report. We got a couple of players from Wales and England. The English players assigned do not have high potential, but they have a very good overall rating. So we could just sell them on and get some money if we need to. Anyway, here's confirmation of Aaron Ramsell and Adam Armstrong both signing for Queen's Park Rangers. I think they'll massively improve the team. Um, although Kalman was very good last season, I still did not trust his rating. Um, in the Premier League because obviously the defenders here are a lot better much quicker and he'll have a much harder time he'll still play a bit though like in cups and he'll come on off the bench if we need him so obviously he's not being written off here but anyway our next piece of business in the window is actually a sale Shadipo another player who was out on loan last season we got a million pounds for him and we also signed a backup left back here by the name of Garcia Santos a young young player on the free agents I thought might as well if we want to sell him we can same with Ojeda here and centre mid and now on the 1st of August again we had our youth uh, reports come back first the academy released a couple of players uh, once again the lower potential players who are very high rate are staying in there for now uh, got a couple of players here from um, England uh, well a keeper from England I should say and um, yeah so Obviously, we sent the scouts out again last time. We sent one to the Republic of Ireland, one to Northern Ireland, and obviously, kept one in England. We also had a loan offer here for Peppel that I was considering because uh, I felt like he might, it might do him some good, but I decided against it because he'll probably be our backup right winger again this season. Uh, but anyway, first game of the episode, well, and the only game of this, was first game in the Premier League was against us. We had a huge chance in the first five minutes to take the lead. Unfortunately, Armstrong's shot was blocked and he could not get his goal in on his. Uh, well he could have got a goal really early on in his debut but unfortunately five minutes after that Arsenal had their own attack ball went through first time shot facing the wrong way and it went in but anyway later on in the first half Doku got the ball here and he cut inside and he just smashed it in to make it 1-1 he will be a key player this season obviously last season he spent a lot of the season injured I think this year if we get injuries we're going to be in a much worse state just because of um how much higher the quality of the Premier League is compared to the Championship uh, so hopefully we can keep our team fit we had a chance five minutes before the break with through Ilya Sher but unfortunately the shot was straight at Leno who managed to tip it behind for a corner at half time it was a pretty even game we probably should have been in the lead because of Armstrong's chance early on but unfortunately ten minutes after the restart Arsenal took the lead through Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and um, obviously last season we had a lot of games where we um, had the opponents like pressing us and this season it will be the same but obviously with the quality of the Premier League much higher rate players they're going to actually be more clinical as well and we felt that with our first home loss of the season we only had one in the whole of last season we've had one in the first game of this season obviously it's just the first game against Arsenal who are a good team hopefully in the next episode we can get our first uh, win potentially even wins of the um, season in the Premier League and uh, yeah let's see if we make any more signings as well